Good morning, everyone. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Um, I'm doing this because I told the Lord that if I did have this experience, I would share it. Um, I had a rapture experience or dream. I don't know what you want to call it, but um, I woke up. It was very short. Um, I was like, I want to say like on a picnic bench or something, and I was sitting, and then my husband came by me, and I was hugging him sitting down as he was standing up and then all of a sudden I felt a pulling up in a change changing of my body um, like I don't know I, I don't know how to vaporizing or something like your body feeling like that it was so cool and so wonderful and I said we're going up the rapture is happening and um, and I woke up and and then I it just happened um, as I got up, so I was able to, you know, my husband was laying in bed still, and I just said, I just had a rapture dream. He said, really? And um, so uh, I wanted just to share it. It happened one other time before, and um, it was when I was sleeping, and I felt like I was, like, lifting up out of my bed, and the same experience, like, I don't know, I don't know how to exp express it, like, my body was changing. And I felt like I was lifting up out of the bed again. So um, I just wanted to share that. And then in my devotional time with the Lord, um, I usually just I worship and praise Him and thank Him for the things that He's done. And I just felt like Psalm 63 came, came to my heart. So I, I just want to read a little bit of Psalm 63. It says, O God, Thou art my God, early will I seek Thee. My soul thirsts for Thee and my flesh longs for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips will praise you. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with morrow and fatness and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips when i remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches because thou hast been my help therefore in thy shadow in the shadow of thy wings will i rejoice my soul falls hard after thee and thy right hand upholds me and i just oh that was so beautiful and um, my favorite scriptures are um, Psalm 27, 4, um, says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold his beauty and to inquire in his temple. And Psalm 73, um, 25 says, Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there's none upon earth that I desire besides thee. I, you know, God is our reward. He is life, and without him, there is no life. So that is my desire. And um, we have to be single-minded and purposed in this life to follow hard after him. And this world is always dragging us away from him. So we have to be purposed to follow his word daily, day and night. Um, then... Um, First Thessalonians 4, 16, 17, I thought of, and I wanted to go to that too. Um, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. That's uh, First Thessalonians 4, 16, and 17. And then, let's see, it says in, oh, um, verse, um, same book, chapter 4, 9 and 10 says, For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we shall live together with him. He's promised, he's made these promises, he doesn't lie, so, um, we know what's going to come to pass. John um, 
14, 1 through 3 says, Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. These are promises that we can stand on and believe because God doesn't lie. And then I thought of John 17, 24. This is Jesus praying for um, the church, the people who will believe after the disciples. And he said, Father, I will. This is Jesus' will. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Uh, what, what do you say to these scriptures? I mean, you either think God is a liar or he's not. He's either faithful to his word and his promises will come to pass or they won't. You decide. But for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord by the grace of God. And we're going to um, stand on his word to the very end by the grace of God. Um, but I just wanted to um, send this little short little video to tell you my experience and it was wonderful and I believe he's coming back and we are going to be raptured because he said it in his word and I believe it's pre-tribulational because we're not appointed to wrath and he um, there's other scriptures and there's other areas in the Bible that he's pulled out his people before his judgment so I'm standing on that and I just wanted to share it with you and give you encouragement that you know um, take the Bible for what it says and believe it above any man or any person or any experience we live by faith and not by sight okay faith is simply believing and trusting in what God has said and believing that above everything and that pleases the Father so I just want to say um, have a wonderful day and God bless